After nicking Alex Stashes, I sound like Chris Morris and Brass Eye. That was just r- <laughs> ridiculous as I read it. Um, so there's a, there's a big problem with goals swooping down. They think they're getting chips, but they're just getting a beak full of spice. Yep. That again, it's got I've gone full Chris Morris. A beak full of spice. so it's a it's a it's a big problem. It's, it's yeah. a serious spice story. Spice is like the real world cake. Isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. But real, I have seen problems. people on spice. I've never seen a gull on spice, not knowingly. I mean, I, I suppose if they go mad and dive bomb. It's really, it's like it's a remake of uh, birds. Hitchcock. But they are like that anyway. I mean, if you live in yeah, Brighton, can you, you imagine them down, even more? If you walk down the road with a sandwich or an ice cream, it's yeah. quite possible oh, yeah, you get, yeah. you know, take. I'm still a angry. I got, I got, a, I got a taco taken from me in Brighton <laughs> by one. So if oh, I got that... my drugs taken as well, I'd be even more I was, angry. I was wondering where the anger came from. But maybe they could, maybe the police could train them because, of course, coastal towns as you live in a coastal town, yeah. are big drug issues, places like Hastings and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of drug problems there. So if they could get the seagulls addicted, the argument is that they could get out there, so, like be like sort of sniffer dogs... Or like those dolphins they used to plant mines during the war. Absolutely. Yeah. And Edinburgh it, has a lot of seagulls, see, funny okay. enough, even though it's not interesting. Sort of coastal person. Sort of transporting yeah. three. Yeah, yeah that, that could be very interesting indeed. Back to Hello. the mail, Nick. <laughs> and uh, bad Shocking. news for anyone expected to indulge in mates romantic fantasies this summer. Yeah, so this is uh, Unhappy Ever After. Being a wedding guest will cost you more than £1,000 this year as the cost of gifts and accommodation soars. £1,045 on average. Absolute madness. So my tactic for this was I was invited to a wedding once in Dublin. It was so expensive. There was all these flights and hotels. I just thought, I know, I'll just never see them again instead. <laughs> because I, I was like, How, if they live up north, I'm not going to yeah. see them that much. I just thought, let's just never be friends again. That is my recommendation, but it's not for everyone. Then we ended up working together. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm awkward. It's yeah. been a few I years for me since wedding season, yeah. but I I do remember there used to be like three or four oh in the my. summer. That-